How did I get my own row in school? Well, it was fifth grade. And the problem was is that I didn't really have a, a personality growing up. Uh, I, it, it took a long time for me to develop my social skills. So I kept to myself. I had two really close friends, but they weren't in my grade. Uh, one of my friends had left the school and I was kind of alone in my class. I didn't like my class very much. You know, of course I had the, the Winnie Cooper of my life was in the class with, with us, but everybody else, I really didn't relate to any of them. They were much different than I was. At least I felt really different. So nobody was into what I was into. I was into Star Trek and this made me weird to everybody else. So anyway, uh, I got picked on a lot. I was always the fat kid in the class and I got, I got, you know, picked on and I really have a whole lot of support. So this really set me into a weird spot because I felt so alienated. I felt so alone and you know, you're young and you don't know how to, how to do anything. So I had, I had discovered Edgar Allan Poe. It was at this time where Edgar Allan Poe, you were reading Edgar Allan Poe stories in school. And obviously, if this kind of stuff happened nowadays, it would be a very different story. I probably, I don't even know where I'd be. But so I was in a creative writing class, and I wrote a story called Vengeance is a Dish Best Served Cold. And in the story, it tells of the tale of, of a kid in school who kills members of his class, um, all in unique ways. Like I killed the jock with a baseball bat, and I killed the nerd... I stabbed them with a, a protractor. Um, all these different ways. It was like six or seven different killings, and I uh, and I read the the story in front of the class as part of the, the writing class. But you know, I guess we were unprepared for the reaction. So anyway, after I read that story, um, I was I was offered my own row in the in the class and. I took it. I was happy to have my own row, and I, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, if this had been 10 years later or after, you know, all these horrible things that have happened for real, uh, not in story form, it probably would have been a lot different. I probably would have got kicked out of school, but um, just for even alluding to something like that. But, you know, that was the beginning. That was the beginning of the, of like the weird phase. Like, I got looked at as being very strange for those types of things. But um, I didn't, uh, I never acted on anything like that, so no one needs to worry. But that's how I got my own row in school, and I remained in my own row until eighth grade, from um, sixth and seventh grades all the way to eighth grade. And by that time, it came time to leave what was going on. So.